Apollo Games and Academy Games, in partnership with Deep Silver Volition, is proud to present Agents of Mayhem, Pride of Babylon, a 3D tactical board game for two to four players based on the new Agents of Mayhem video game. Play as the supervillain organization known as Legion, or as Mayhem, an eccentric group of anti-heroes who will do whatever it takes to stop Legion. Fight on a destructible 3D board in a futuristic world of technological marvels. Legion is an organization of supervillains that has decimated the world's militaries and taken over the globe with their superior weapons. Take on the role of Dr. Babylon, Legion's Minister of Pride and Head of Dark Matter Research. Use Babylon's powerful Dark Matter weapons and command squads of troopers to complete Legion's evil scheme. Only the Agents of Mayhem can oppose Legion. Fight Legion as a team of uniquely skilled Mayhem agents. Fortune is a sky pirate whose greed and love for technology make her a world-class thief. Hardtack is a foul-mouthed U.S. Navy veteran who loves nothing more than killing the Legion trooper who destroyed his fleet. Hollywood is the face of mayhem and always looks good while making Legion look bad. But Legion is not so easily defeated. Deploy destructive doomsday devices that can shoot dark matter lasers through space, alter gravity, destroy buildings, or create powerful gold. Every character has unique abilities and gadgets that let them fight in their own way. Use group tactics to flank the enemy and smart movements to dodge attacks. Use characters together and deploy their specialized abilities to create synergistic attacks that can bring down any foe. This is Agents of Mayhem Pride of Babylon, a fast-paced tactical board game of chaos and destruction. The game includes large, detailed miniatures that highlight the individual personalities of a variety of characters. Each character's double-layered board stores their supply of resources and shows available actions. Alternate turns with your opponent in quick gameplay with no downtime. Using our unique refresh system, take actions by spending one of your character's resources while simultaneously generating new resources for your other characters. There is no reset, and you play fluidly until the mission ends. Customize and improve your characters after every mission with unique gadget cards that slide into the board and upgrades that persist game to game. Create hundreds of different game maps with modular 3D tiles with multi-story buildings that characters can move around, over, and through. Buildings take damage from your devastating attacks and are fully destructible. Use real-world military tactics to defeat the enemy with flanking maneuvers, elevation advantages, and coordinated assaults. Aim your attacks to wound your opponents and limit what actions they can take. Play through a procedurally generated story campaign where your actions determine the storyline, objectives, and special rules for future missions. No playthrough is the same and the campaign has dozens of possible endings. With your pledge, you will receive Agents of Mayhem, Pride of Babylon, and the limited Get Gaunt expansion. We have a number of exciting stretch goals that will add new Mayhem and Legion miniatures, 3D buildings, and expansion content. You can also add to your pledge a digital copy of the Agents of Mayhem video game. As always, we at Academy Games and Apollo Games thank you for your support. We look forward to saving or destroying the world together. <laughs> Speculation, gambling, crypto kitties, a Japanese guy, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, blockchain. Bitcoin is the widest, most important deployment of cryptography to individuals in the history of the world. It is a huge deal.
Introducing Crypto Rampage, a board game based on the chaotic world of bitcoins, altcoins, a world where no one gives a fork about regulations or rationality. There's money to be made. So mortgage your house, max out your electricity bill, and get stuck in. Hi guys, Satoshi Nakamoto here. It's been a quiet few years. I'm hoping you're going to back my latest project, even bigger than Bitcoin. What could be bigger than Bitcoin, I hear you ask? A board game about cryptocurrencies. Alex Muir is me. <laughs> that is my name. I am Alex Muir. I developed this board game about cryptocurrencies and actually, I think it's very, very good. And I don't just say that because I want you to back it, although I do. It's a trading game where you buy and sell coins, you attempt to hustle, manipulate the market, hack your opponents, buy low, sell high, trick other people into buying high and selling low, you run pump and dump schemes. It's a game that captures the essence of the cryptocurrency market. And we've done that in a couple of different ways. One of those ways is uh, through mining. So you take a mining card at the start of each round and that's how you receive coins. Each mining card has a challenge, for example, Simpsons characters, and then you go around the players and you all name a Simpsons character. For every correct answer that you get, you earn a coin. And that does reflect, to a reasonable degree, the way mining works in cryptocurrencies. You have to use your brain. The faster your brain, the faster your PC, the more you're going to mine coins. What we've also built in is a mechanism for including market sentiment. So the prices of cryptocurrencies, or almost all assets, go up and down in relation to the, the market sentiment. And in this game, the prices don't just vary wildly. You don't roll a dice and if it's six, the thing goes up six. Because that doesn't bear relation really to real life. You can't trade that, that's pure gambling. And a lot of people are gambling like crazy on cryptocurrencies and that's fine. But in this game, there is some strategy involved. There is a way to read the market and trade accordingly. But there's also complete bedlam breaks out if you take the action cards. So every round you take an action card and each action is generally an event which has occurred in real life in the cryptocurrency world. Now, those include crypto kitties breaking out, dropping the valuation of a coin by a few billion dollars, hacking, exchanges disappearing, ransomware, all sorts of different things which have actually occurred which are hilarious, but also completely true. We're using top quality materials for this game. Real premium ceramic chips for the coins and heavyweight paper for the cards. This is going to be an heirloom quality game. So this is a great game to play, whether you're interested in cryptocurrencies, whether you've followed them for years, whether you've made your fortune, or lost your fortune, watched other people make their fortune. I really think we've come up with something great here. It's essentially a cross between Monopoly and poker, it has elements of gambling, elements of strategy. There's skullduggery, there's market manipulation. It's great fun. I really, really can't wait to get this out to everybody who backs it. Crypto Rampage. Get in early before the price triples or halves or doubles or goes down to zero or it goes to the moon. Everything's gone to shit. We ruined Mother Earth, and now we scrape the flesh from her bones. In the wastes, only the most savage can survive. This isn't a world for the weak. If you want to rule, you have to fucking kill everyone. That's all we know. That's all we have. Only hate. Chronicle your story in Hate, the brutal board game based on the works of legendary artist Adrian Smith. 
take on the mantle of a cruel tribe in this Kickstarter exclusive game and compete in savage one-to-one -one combat in the ruins of the world. Race to complete mission objectives as you murder and pillage your way through different scenarios. Amass the biggest horde of resources and hate across a campaign of battles with a variety of rival tribes. You'll have to carve your way through countless bodies before you're done. Even though you'll only face one depraved tribe of assholes at a time, you have to fight every other vicious bastard if you want to see this whole thing through. And it won't be easy. Various brutal scenarios give you and your enemies plenty of chances to eviscerate each other, each with different goals and conditions that tell you what kind of carnage to inflict. But remember the most important rule, never stop fighting. If you get knocked down, make sure your enemy doesn't get their hands on you. If one of your warriors gets hauled back to an enemy village, they're never coming back. And since you've only got the strength of your 11 warriors, losing one to the maw of your rivals is a fucking problem. They're your only line of attack and your only line of defense. Pay attention to your surroundings, because the terrain can either help you or hurt you. Learn the strengths of your tribe if you want to rip your enemy's throat out. Use every tool and every resource you have and show your tribe the way to victory. And above all, gather resources and build your hate. Because as they grow, so will the strength of your warriors and your village. Learn from every battle. Teach your warriors new skills and new levels of savagery. Your village too will grow in power, construct new buildings, and find new ways for us to kill, mutilate, and torture. Because every fight has consequences. Limbs may be lost, terrible scars inflicted, and your warriors carried off to feed a hungry tribe. Don't lose. Don't die. Keep killing. Hate comes with lots of shit to help you kill your enemies. A game board, 32 terrain tiles, over 200 cards, 44 card sleeves, 30 chronicle sheets, over 100 tokens, 6 custom dice, and the 51 savage miniatures you've been fucking waiting for. Time to decide. Are you going to lead us to victory? Are you gonna kill everything? Or are you gonna let them torture you, eat you, and shit you out? Choose now and unleash your hate. Nemesis is a semi-cooperative experience for one to five players. You will lead one of the unique crew members and try to survive on this goddamn ship. While trying to complete your secret objective, you will uncover different parts of the ship, each of them unique, each with a special ability. For example, one will open and close door locks. Another can trigger the auto-destruction of the ship. You will also need to search for useful items which will help you heal, fight, experiment, or even craft new weapons or antidotes. But whenever you move, you will make noise, and that can draw intruders. Your hero can panic and shoot all of his precious ammunition into the air. Or worse, on top of that, combat with intruders is extremely difficult, and you can become seriously wounded or contaminated. If you become contaminated, it might be infectious, and if not dealt with quickly, it will result in your transformation into an intruder. All of this and much, much more makes every game of Nemesis a one-of-a-kind cinematic experience. You may craft a flamethrower and use it in a room full of intruders, or lie to other crew members about fixing the engines, or find the intruder's weakness in the lab, or extinguish fires in the pilot bridge or become stuck in a room with the Intruder Queen a second away from entering an escape pod. There is also a whole other layer to this game that plays above the table. You need to cooperate to survive, but due to secret objectives, you never know who you can trust. Talking out strategies, 
and doubting your comrades is a must. When I took this gig, I never thought it could go to hell this fast. It did. Want to know how I ended up next to this beauty? For starters, we were pulled out of hypersleep halfway to Earth. My buddy Jake turned into a human piñata. Some scary-ass shit came out. It hunts us now. No one wants to be next. We made a plan. Turns out, that bastard pilot didn't check the engine like she was supposed to. She broke it and had the guts to tell us it's all green. Corporate orders or some shit. Then, damn fire cut me out from the rest. <laughs> Not that I trusted him anyway. Fubar, right? <laughs> good thing I've learned a trick or two during my time in the Corps. Step one, some good old suppressive fire. This should get me safe to a quiet place where I can cook up a flamethrower. Step two, <sighs> toast them ugly bastards. Step three, find the surgery, check if I'm clean. Don't want to end up like my pal Jake. Step four, reach the escape pod. Step five, say goodbye to this goddamn death trap. Oh, and grab an alien egg on my way out. My employers made that one clear. Okay, time to get cracking. Self-destruction system activated. Countdown, 60 seconds. Well, shit. Treasure Mountain is an exciting board game that plays in less than two hours for two to four players and is perfect for both experienced and new board gamers. Your dwarf clan has been chosen by King Grimsteel to mine the rubies, emeralds, sapphires, and diamonds buried deep in the mountain. Earn victory points by digging deep to mine gems and earn gold. But have your access ready. You never know when you'll need to slay a dragon. The clan with the most victory points at the end of the game gains the favor of King Grimsteel and wins. Treasure Mountain features an innovative bumping worker placement mechanic where dwarves are placed in order from the dwarf with the smallest beard to the dwarf with the largest beard. A dwarf with a longer beard may bump another dwarf from their current board space, allowing them to perform the action. The dislodged dwarf is then placed on another space to perform a bonus action. Treasure Mountain also features a fun mining tile placement mechanic where players dig their own custom mines with unique abilities. This gives Treasure Mountain a wide variety of strategies and endless replay value. The dragons that roam deep in the mine can be testy. Certain actions will make them angry, causing trouble for the entire group. Players will have to rely on the power of their axes to defeat them. Players that fail to slay the dragon will have their treasure stolen by the angry beast. Treasure Mountain is easy to learn, strategic and fast-paced. Its artwork is prettier than the King's Treasure Horde, and the player interaction will keep you on your toes. Treasure Mountain, get your copy today!